It was a good day to be out and about driving though and to be out and about, you know, walking your dog or getting some last minute Christmas errands done or things like that. So I'm I'm hoping we have some good weather, but I know you said to grab the umbrella kind of towards the beginning of the week. Uh, yeah, more so toward Tuesday morning. I think you're going to be fine tomorrow. We do have a small chance of rain in there, but honestly, it's more concerning Monday night, more so Monday during the daytime. So here's our weather setup. We're in a mild air mass right now on the south side, south of a cold front that has chilly air behind it. We've been seeing snow par over parts of the Midwest today. Kansas City was a very snowy site today at Arrowhead Stadium. If you caught that football game, I also have an area of low pressure over the Texas Panhandle. And what's going to happen is this is going to move to the east and it's going to pick up Gulf moisture and you're going to see a lot more rain associated with it by this time tomorrow and then some. So that'll be our rain source for Monday night, Tuesday morning. And what do you say we track it? Not really too much to talk about tomorrow besides the fact that it'll be an overall pretty cloudy day. I don't think we're going to see too much in the way of sunshine. And there's always that off chance we get a stray shower ahead of the main batch of rain, which at that point will still be well to the west over Tennessee. As you can see, still not too much rain throughout the day, but definitely more clouds than sunshine. And again, still just that off chance we get a shower before the main rain, which is set to arrive in the mountains around midnight in areas farthest west and then move through the area, move through the upstate northeast Georgia midnight and the hours after. So safe bet is that we're going to have scattered to widespread rain for the morning commute Tuesday and then good news. It should be out by Tuesday afternoon. Backside, we could see some high elevation snow along the Tennessee North Carolina border Tuesday night and that's pretty much our rain chance for the week and we cool down after 44 degrees will be our low temperature as clouds build in and patchy fog develops mountains it's 41 degrees for you with a similar forecast and again not too much sunshine but still beautiful mild temperatures 63 will be our high temperature and again just that small small chance for a brief shower to 62 degrees will be your high temperature meanwhile in western North Carolina so on account of the cloud cover and just that very very small chance for rain we're going to rate the day an 8 out of 10 so not perfect like today but certainly not too far from it and not a bad way to start the new school and work week. I want to fast forward though to the end of the week into next weekend because we could see another batch of rain and it might even come with some patchy wintry weather as well. So looking at the American GFS model, this is definitely the outlying model in terms of what the overall forecast is looking like. It paints a pretty rainy picture with some brief freezing rain in the mountains late Friday night into, two, into Saturday morning and then a very rainy Saturday to follow. And on the other hand, the European computer model, which is a little bit more with the consensus of the long range computer models, shows dry conditions Friday. So no concern of rain Friday, but a pretty dry Saturday with just a couple of showers and then making it rainier on Sunday. So in the seven day forecast, got 30% rain chances Saturday, Sunday. Of course, winter officially begins on Saturday, but one of those days will likely be rainier than the other. It's just a matter of a few days when we'll have a better idea of when those chances are regarding next weekend. Shale.